Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. So, um, today I was actually doing research on putting my uh, esports team in tournaments, like just Googling Rainbow Six tournaments and trying to figure out, you know, uh, they switched programs. So, is it ESL that's doing it? Is it Face It that's doing it? Like, what is going on, right? I try to figure it out, and I can't figure it out. I, I'll explain it. So, um, I just have been trying to find PC leagues, right? I go on Twitter, I look up Rainbow Six PC League. I go on Google, I look up Rainbow Six PC League, and it's just there's no coherent website. There's no place to go. Even ESL is confusing. In fact, when I always kind of looked up ESL tournaments and stuff, I never actually figured out how to do it, right? And the only other... Um, discord league that i'm a part of that's like a tournament is this league called cgl and they're getting sold so um they're not doing tournaments right now and it seems like a lot of the kind of how i've gotten into different servers that involve some sort of tournaments is just because i know somebody that's also part of those servers and they invited me right it's not like i went on to let's just say google and i googled a Rainbow Six Siege PC tournament, or I went on to face it or ESL, you know, and so it's just been a really confusing thing. It's just been really confusing, you know, even on Twitter, I try different keywords and it's just like, cause you'd assume, right? When, when someone's running their league, they're tweeting out things and it's just not happening. And this is very odd to me because, um, I came from the world of martial arts and signing up for tournaments was really easy. All you did was, well, before we did it on the internet, because we were a little behind the times when it came to that, was you just had this information card that you filled out, you know, your your name, your age, um, your belt rank, what the event was, and then your instructor. That's all you did, right? And so I think some other information on the other side, I don't remember all the details. And yeah, that was it. On the, when we switched to the website, you'd go to the organization that you're joining, and whether it was the main one or we did another tournament that was hosted by a different organization, but we could still join because it was open, right? Um, you go to the whichever website, you click on registration, and you basically fill out the exact same information, and bam, there you go. You registered, you send them their money in PayPal, and you're good to go. And, and it's just so confusing in Seed. You go on Discord, like you got to do this all the, the role management, so you have to understand how to use Discord. And there's zero information on where signups are, when they're happening. Like, I joined this one server and the announcement was they said we're closing down um, tournament queuing from December to January. I'm like, what does that even mean? It's the middle of July. And it was an old announcement, you know, I finally figured it out. So it's just been really difficult. Like, I don't know if anyone else in the community really has had this problem, you know, where it's just like tournaments... You either join a tournament because someone you also know is part of the tournament or you just somehow join it, you know, and it's, it's, it seems like it's definitely the first one. You know, you have to know someone who's a part of these things because there's not a lot of information, you know, and so I just kind of wish that there was more information, um, maybe websites, you know, I think even if there was free websites, like if you use the, I think it's called Weebly. You can make a free website, right? So all you would really have to do is make this free website, Rainbow Six Siege Open Tournament, whatever the case may be, post updates on it. Have a Twitter account connected to your Discord, you know? And I think some of these places do, but some of them don't. And it's just overall been super, super confusing. So I'm hoping that, you know, right now I think Siege is transitioning from ESL to Face It because the North American ESL stuff according to what I can find, hasn't opened up for things like Go4s. And Face It's just kind of there right now. They used it to sign up for Challenger League qualifiers, which went really smoothly. Like, I didn't sign up, but it was super easy to figure out how to sign up for Challenger League qualifiers, you know? It's it's like you just add the people to your team, bam, add them in, you're good to go, you know? And um, it's frustrating now, but, like, if I feel like... Rainbow Six is actually getting their act together, you know, more than they have been. Because ESL, you know, it's kind of... You can eventually figure out, I feel, on ESL, 
how to do a go for, you know, click play, queue up, whatever, download the clients and stuff. Like you can eventually figure it out. Face it, it's super easy. Like there's some tournaments and hubs, like there's a hub I joined, right? Where all you gotta do is like click play and then it clicks, you know, you queue up, you find a 10 man to scrim with and bam, you're good to go, you know? Um, and that's how face it is. And so I'm really kind of right now, Siege is frustrating to do tournaments in. That isn't like professionally organized, which I mean, it makes sense because it's not professionally organized. So it's going to be confusing. But the way that things have been running, it seems to me with, you know, you got to go to Discord, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do that. You know, you have all these weird Discord roles and you got to, you know, it's just, it's not simple. And yeah. It's, it's definitely one of the things that's been frustrating to me because I want to join a tournament, you know? I think that that's a good goal to have because just doing scrims and just practicing without some goal of winning a tournament is... No, you know what? But we're still, you know, always practicing for Challenger League qualifiers because, you know, it's like the big tournament that you do when you're new, <laughs> you know? So there's always that kind of on the horizon, but little tournaments in between would also be really fun you know because i feel like that's kind of like that gives us the option then with tournaments to practice not only when we play ranked or unranked together but also when we scrim because right now because it's so difficult to join a tournament we have to play scrims like we're playing in tournaments and we can't really experiment inside of scrims you know i think if once we get enough scrims in there we could do it but it would be nicer to just have you know these tournaments these set days where we go out and do our best instead of experimenting and then we have you know things like ranked and unranked to just play together and work on mechanical skills and scrims to practice and experiment things like communication and strategy so that's kind of been my experience so far i mean it's first impressions of joining a siege tournament is it's difficult it's frustrating it's annoying to find siege tournaments and i'm hoping that in the future it will be much easier. And that is pretty much all I have to say for this video, guys. Um, if you join Siege Tournaments, let me know in the comments below your experiences. Um, if you have in the past, drop those tips in the comments below because uh, let me tell you, I'm probably not the only one that's confused by this. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you guys in the next one.